Hello there guys, welcome back to PMS Pretty Much Sexies, <laughs> you know. Today, I'm gonna talk to you guys about conceptual physics. Yes, it sounds boring, but it really isn't. Because today, I'm gonna help you pass your physics class. <clears throat> well, maybe a project from physics class. Maybe you guys have heard about the um, egg lab. You know, it's where you get the egg and you make a structure and you have to throw it from like the balcony and it needs to be safe, safe and sound. Um, well, there's this video on YouTube which 90% of my class saw and they made the same structure as that guy. And that 90% failed. Except me and another dude. He passed the balcony but he didn't pass the roof. And me, myself, and I, oh, and my friend Brian, because he drew a little face on the egg, we passed balcony and the roof. 100% my structure worked. It's not because I use, you know, calculations and formulas and stuff like that. All I simply did was use logic. Yeah, there's physics behind it but it's it's mostly logic you know and before I show you guys the egocopter I'll show you guys the video of the other dude that made 90% of the class fail so the main point here is that there are no straws pointing directly at the egg when it impacts the ground the force goes up the stiffest path through the straw I saw a ton of examples online where the straw was actually pointed at the egg which would create a puncture load in our case, we have this pyramid, so all the loads pass next to the egg, so you don't get that primary impact. Two, one. So you'll notice we've got a couple of broken pieces, but that's okay because it took energy to make those breaks, and that served to protect the shell of the egg from receiving that energy, so success. Okay, so our egg finally broke, but it took about 20 tries, and you can see there's a lot of busted. Well, what do you guys think? Pretty convincing, huh? He shows you physics, and then he shows you the structure, you know? Or vice versa. But 90% of my class failed. They did the same structure as that guy, and they all failed. Balcony and the roof. Oh, they didn't even make it to the roof, because their they're egg cracked. So. I'll present to you guys the project that will always work 100%, the Egocopter. Here it is, propellers, there's the egg right there, some legs to support, you know, the fall, and this was made with 50 straws and one meter of tape that those were the only items we could use one meter of tape and 50 straws and actually my echocopter is only made of 48 but I just put this simple little leg right here with these two straws right there to give it extra support but really you only need 48 it works 100% because the proposed actual work well, I'm going to show you some physics behind this, okay? As you can see, I opened the straws, I cut them in like in the middle, and then I opened them like this to give the air resistance. That's all you needed. My teacher, he kept, he kept on pausing the class every like 10 minutes, telling us, remember, when you fall, there's something that's always going to I slow you down and he kept repeating and repeating it no one did it they all no one listened to him they were all just on the YouTube guy who was gonna work a hundred percent no this one will the propellers actually work when you fall this thing turns and I'll show you the video of my project falling down from the roof Be Survived, he survived, he survived, he survived. Please, 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 please. 
That's broken. Is it? Oh. As you can see in my video, it does spin. But right when it goes like in the middle, it hits the wall and then it turns around and that's what makes it fall faster. But it, the the problem was that this did work. The um what didn't work was the guy who threw it. He was supposed to like give it a little push for it to have space in order to spin. The only thing he did was just let go of it right like really close to the wall. And even though, you know, it hit the wall and went down like that, it still worked. Look. This egg right here is the same egg that he used over there. And you see, Brian drew that face. That's why I gave him 10% of the work. <laughs> well, I did most of it. So, 50 straws, one meter of tape, figure it out. Or I might do another video on how to make this. If you comment down below and ask me to make a video about it, then I will. If not, then help yourself. It works 100%. I hope you guys like this video. Like, subscribe, comment. See you guys next time. This is pretty much sexist.